In the NBA, the game can change at an instant, but no matter how the action unfolds, you know DraftKings Sportsbook has your back. This week, new customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets by betting five bucks on basketball. Win or lose, you get an instant dub. You can even bet on Luka's MVP odds at the end of the year. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. New customers can get 150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting five on basketball. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. The crown is yours. And we are back with another film session. The Cowboys defeat the Philadelphia Eagles, and I wanted to show you a handful of plays on offense that helped them do that. If you want to see some more film, y'all tap in with me on Patreon. We watch the whole film over there, patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. All right, let's get into it. So, Kevontae Turpin gets a huge play on this reverse. I'll call it, you know, I'll call it reverse because he went behind deck. But I just wanted to show y'all something that I thought was a huge key to this reverse here, and it is the blocking by the wide receivers. And Tony piled up top right here. So, so important, man. You got to have these blocks. And the Cowboys seem to be a much more tenacious blocking unit. And before you know it, they just create this wall right here. This wall just for Kevontae Turpin to get down this alley. And oh, look at all that space and opportunity. And it's only there because of the high, the high level of effort that we have from these blocks. Let me just rewind just a little bit just so we can get a full-blown highlight on this thing, man. Take a look at Cousin Tony and his block right here waiting to spring Kevontae Turpin open man that's 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 playoff football that's 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 championship football and you're gonna need every single piece of your offense highly operating on that level one more time for Kevontae Turpin you can actually see that burst right there he saw the open grass and he changed them gears I just want to take a quick second to highlight Shaq Leonard. He's a Philadelphia Eagle now and this definitely would not have happened to him if he would have just signed to the Cowboys take a look at this play we're gonna run it and then we're gonna come back and talk about it jake ferguson is gonna make a catch a tough catch over number 21 and and just to go back to my wide receiver blocking point look at cd lamb just blocking for him all the way down the field but this is really here to just show a lot of love to jake ferguson and just give him his flowers now um i kind of look at this as you know like a like a small little uh texas route right i don't want to necessarily call it a slant because if it was a slant i think it'll just be kind of up and then slanty okay okay i I don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily want to call it that. I want to call it a Texas route because you see Jake Ferguson deliberately work to this outside leverage right here. And that's very important that he works to this outside leverage because once he gains once he gains this outside leverage, what is he trying to do? He's trying to get this DB to work outside with him. So once Jake gains this outside leverage, then he's going to work across the field here. So I, I would consider this more of a Texas route than a slant, but I keep you know, poo-pooing on Dalton Schultz. And I hate to keep poo-pooing on him because Dalton Schultz, you know, all he did was was do his job when he was here. But the one thing that Jake Ferguson does that Dalton Schultz wouldn't dream of doing is once he catches the football, he proceeds to go another 5, 10, 15, 20, sometimes 25, 30 yards. And let's just marvel at Jake Ferguson doing so while CeeDee Lamb is trying his best to block downfield. But he just ends up getting Jake Ferguson away. And I promise I ain't hating. We got Shaq Leonard right here. If he would have signed to the Cowboys, he would not have to deal with dudes like Tyler Smith running directly at him. How about this on his last play? Let's watch it first, then let's come back and bring it down. It's one of my favorite plays. It's called Find the Scrub and Make Sure Your Best Receiver is on that dude, okay? And that's a good way to highlight CeeDee Lamb. Now, CeeDee Lamb is going to be the star of this play. One, because we know that they're in man coverage. And if they're in man coverage, we know that these that these eagle corners are going to have a hard time covering these dudes, okay? Now, what they're going to do is they're going to run this little uh, flood concept, right? And that's exactly what it's called. We're going to flood one side of the field. We've got a little deep uh deep nine there got a 10 yard out and then we got just tobert running to the flats but let me just show you something uh something different about what what cd lamb is doing with his 10 yard out he's going to put a little bit of sauce on top of it okay he's going to run a little bit of a head and hand fake to the outside bah, bah, bah. now why is he doing this he just wants to get his corners hips turned inside he wants his cornerback to be facing Dak Prescott why because we know that CD Lamb is going this way so if CD Lamb is going to the right of course we want the corner uh facing to the left but this is what's impressive about this chat y'all just stay focused now I want y'all to keep eyes on Dak Prescott Dak Prescott's about to get rid of the football right now he's throwing with anticipation CD Lamb isn't even fully out of his break yet 
and Dak just throwing the ball with anticipation because he's throwing the ball to a spot. You know, in these old offenses, man, they were just out there backyard football and they was just trying to figure it out on the go. But now these these wide receivers are they are expected to be in the spot. So all Dak Prescott got to do is throw to that spot. And C.D. Lamb should be in that damn spot. Let's watch it one more time from the cartel view, and then we're going to get up out of here. Beautiful pass from Dak Prescott. Beautiful route from, from uh, C.D. Lamb. Beautiful protection from our Dallas Cowboys. Beautiful play. Hey, man, Cowboys put hands all over the Eagles. It was fun to watch, uh, but we got to, uh, you know, line up and do and do the same thing against the Buffalo Bills. We'll cross that road whenever we get there, but we got a long week of making fun of the Philadelphia Eagles, and I do not just want to skip all over that, okay? So we're going to be watching a whole bunch of film this week. Y'all be sure you are subscribed so we can get a good look at all the fun this year, uh, this week, pardon me. Uh, y'all tap into the Patreon, patreon.com slash Vosh Lombard. That's where we watch the film. Uh, I do O-line breakdowns every single single week so if y'all want to tap into some of my most favorite work to do which is o-line come uh come holler at me on the uh, patreon okay the rest of y'all man y'all hold down for the dose of peace and peace until next time shalute